May 2nd, 2011. This is today's climate change update. Well, I've had a wonderful weekend off and uh, got some things done, so um, here I am, I'm back. Um, and nothing really new out of Fukushima. Uh, the only thing RSOE's got on today saying they uh, stopped pumping the water out of the number two reactor basement and they're going to continue that. Um, I guess today with two pumps and they're going to store that on site somewhere and uh, that's about all the official news I got out of Fukushima so if I find anything else on videos whatnot I will attach links below as, as usual of course. On to uh, Earth Changes, Scott.net, New Zealand Monster of Sea Shocks Beachgoers. Residents of Watera were in for a big surprise when they went down to the beach on Saturday. Late Friday or early Saturday morning, a 22.3 meter long whale washed up on Wainu Beach, about 1.5 kilometers south of Watara River mouth. Um, although it's not uncommon for whales to wash up on the beaches, this is the largest one local residents have seen and they're thinking it's a pygmy blue whale and so they got a picture it's a pretty big whale washed up on the beach in New Zealand US record wildlife die-offs reported in northern Rockies uh, due to the extreme winter we have just had uh, they're saying that the elk herds deer and moose um, are having a pretty tough time right now and the numbers aren't looking very good uh, they got the story on the bat die-offs. Nearly 10,000 bats die in Durham Cave, and they're saying this is to the mysterious white noise disease. I'm not entirely convinced uh, this mysterious white noise disease is so mysterious due to the magnetic anomalies and the sensitivity of the bats. So uh, it could be just a sign of the times for sure. After the wind, the water, fears of floods worse than Mississippi disaster of 1927 to strike tornado devastated southeast United States. And again, the Mississippi River's um, rising. Um, the tributaries are starting to flow backwards. Um, those are the little rivers that feed into the main Mississippi River are starting to flow backwards now because of the, the water excess. And uh, this is just a normal. Uh, thing that takes place when the Mississippi River floods. Uh, we just happen to be at extreme record levels and the levee system is um, not up to par, let's just say. Uh, towns have been evacuated. Um, they're talking of uh, sand blisters and that's where the water has gone underneath the levees and um, it creates basically a boil. And uh, if the boil bursts and the water goes underneath, collapses the levee and failure and, and all the funness that happens. And that happens here in Des Moines as well. Uh, there's one down the street they keep patching uh, every year or two. Dead sardines surface on the Kalgoot Beach in India. Um, just large quantities of dead fish on the sands of the beach. Thursday uh, took the shine of the Go's most famous tourist spots. But this did not deter us enjoying from it, from tourists from enjoying themselves, even as water sports operators, uh, hawkers went about their daily business. Uh, nothing to see here, folks. Just millions of dead sardines lining the beaches. Enjoy your margaritas in India. Jesus, moderate earthquake hits eastern Romania, neighboring Moldova. Uh, da da da. A moderate earthquake with preliminary mag magnitude has hit eastern Romania and neighboring Moldova. No injuries or damage have been reported. Da, da, da. As definitely everybody felt it. A 2.5 magnitude earthquake hits Alexandria, Minnesota. Very unlikely in Duluth. Um, that's a very rare, yeah, but it would be weird. Hmm. Blizzard dumps snow in Saskatchewan, Manitoba. I've seen uh, some weather shares of this, and uh, maybe spring, but it appears winter isn't finished with prairies just yet, as the blizzard threatens to dump between 10 and 50 centimeters of snow in parts of Saskatchewan and Manitoba. Winter snow storm and snowfall warnings have were left in effect Saturday in southeastern Saskatchewan, as well as much as western and central Manitoba. As late season storms 
system over North Dakota moved into the region. And uh, yeah, Dakotas have been having snow and and uh, this late spring winter storm. Mayor orders flood threaten Illinois city evacuated. And this is Champaign, Illinois. The mayor of the small southern Illinois city threatened by two swollen rivers ordered by all residents to leave by midnight Saturday because of the sand boil. And they're afraid these levees are going to give way. A uh, city of 2,800 residents. Violent hailstorm leaves Lisbon, Portugal with a wintry mess. And uh, again, the sleet and hail was so numerous. Uh, basically, they had to come out and shovel it off the walks. It was like a big snowstorm. And uh, this, is, this is not unheard of in the Midwest. I've actually seen where they pulled out the snow plows. The hail was so bad. And uh, yeah, here they are with tractors and uh, snow plows. Uh, bulldozers try to remove hail from the streets of Delma near Lisbon, Portugal, after a violent rainstorm hit Lisbon region in the afternoon of April 29, 2011, covering the streets with a thick layer of icy hail. Crazy, huh? Uh, the only thing different they have on the extinction protocol, we have a 50 meter crater opens up in the Baltic Island. Geologists are puzzled over what caused it. And uh, Hamburg, Germany, one of the Baltic Island of Usedom, the earth has opened up a, a 50, 50 meter long, 4 meter deep gaping canyon that looks like the little brother of the Grand Canyon in the USA. Did an ancient cavity collapse? Or is it a meteor strike in the middle of a field at Zarkal Gapes mysterious hole? Uh, Build Reader reports Andrew discovered it while walking. He believes that this is a case of substance or sand collapsed on the crater walls can be seen a pattern and the uh, gorge runs into a small lake where bubbles rise from mysterious bubbles rise mysterious out of the water. It bubbles suspiciously, perhaps a gas. Probably in the next few days, the earth will move again. And the story goes on. They're not exactly sure. They're thinking, uh, um, water has eroded away underneath and then the sand collapsed, kind of thing. And then over to the RSOE. Of course, they've got the flooding in Arkansas, Buffalo National River, the flooding uh, in Cairo, the Mississippi River, in Illinois. Snowstorms in Canada, and what's going on? Uh, they've got a yellow dust storm pretty much over the entire peninsula of South Korea. Uh, that's coming out of the, the deserts in China, uh, blowing down and through. And a wildfire out of Russia, the Far East, um, Karbovesk territory. And they've got a forest fire there, along with a uh, volcano eruption in Ecuador, of course. Um, the volcano's going on in Japan. The volcano in the uh, Philippines, the Tao volcano, still activity. And, uh, of course, the extreme problems going on in Colombia right now with all their flooding and whatnot. I know it's kind of a short one. <laughs> 8 minutes, 42 seconds. Anyway, um, attach your videos below or leave your comments. Um, until I see you again, thanks for all your support. Enjoy while you can, everybody.